We can beach over here. Ulfik. You were taken from this realm too early. You who walks among the living. My beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace. Yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig say their magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death, if only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. Chisel is ahead past this gate. Father, maybe we should look for those bones. Why? Didn't you hear him? We could talk to Mom again. If we keep an eye out look while we... Look if you we... wish, boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. This chisel we seek. What is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. Ahem. <clears throat> there was a giant once named Thamu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamu or hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Dreamthrower had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Arimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Bamur chased after his son, but in his emotional state soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night. So far from Thor. Thor. And what happened next? You'll see. Okay. 
killed him. Oh no. He fell in the village? Aye. When Thamer fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanier god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. Tip of one, yes. A very, very giant chisel. That big crystal on the giant's ring looks promising. Didn't seem to do anything. Brother, looks like that crystal's brimming again. Glad. Thanks. His idea. What happened to the survivors? Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. <laughs>
up there. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Hostiles up ahead. Well, what's the plan? Read it. Sir. To Njord we offer back the seas back. Ah yes. It was believed that Njord calmed the winds and seas for the fishermen. For that they loved and worshipped him here. An all fine light crystal. Wonder what it's for. Harding World Tree Sap. That's Andy. Well, here's the base for the crystal we saw. But how do we get it down?
There's something up there. Maybe we can go this way. How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. Boy. Right.
Wow, that was uh, something, that uh, fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so... It sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh... It doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> you let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water drop. He stepped between realms. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. speaks to you. You don't need to make excuses to say hello. So, this plan of yours. Can you guess it? Knowing you, it doesn't involve standing around here. Correct. But how do we move forward? Boy, Farmer really liked jewelry, didn't he? Even braided his beard with it. I happen to think he looks dashing. You know, for a snow-covered corpse. Right here! There's something over there! We heading into that building? Yes. You think there's something inside that'll help us break the ice and get to the chisel tip? No. I'll keep thinking.